Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. You've probably uh, received uh, fellow uh, replies already from agnostics and atheists, but I thought I'd chip in my two cents worth in case, uh, uh, since I don't know whether any of my uh, fellow predisposed have uh, mentioned about this. But the fact is, though, is that uh, I agree. In, in some case, there is actually some evidence to suggest that, um, and this is in a psychological format, that uh, Ouija boards can drive you insane. However, you don't necessarily need any spiritual basis in order to get rid of the Ouija board. Quite simple. Here's a little tactic to, um, if you think you are being plagued by supernatural forces from a Ouija board, here's what you do. Blindfold yourself, set a camera on record, and have a friend place the Ouija board either right side up or upside down on you, and you don't know which. Then, try to ask the spirits, quote unquote, for a message. If you start getting stuff, um, if they flip the, the Ouija board upside down on you, and uh, you don't get a message because of the fact that you think the letters are right side up when they're actually upside down, then you know it's your own uh, subconscious mind, and it's the idiomotor effect. And as long as you recognize that, uh, you can figure out, oh, wait, okay, it's just me. You know, it's just me doing this to myself. And then you can go to a decent psychiatrist and work out whatever issues happen to be uh, plaguing you at the time. Uh, I've actually used the Ouija board before, and I have not had a single incident of problems with it. Um, largely because of the fact that I happen to know of the idiomotor effect going into it. So it uh, literally, so despite the fact that I um, used a computerized one and got some interesting coherent messages out of it, um, I still um, recognized it was me talking to myself. And uh, I just had a little bit of fun with it. I've had not, I haven't had a single problem with it um, or anything coming out of it. Like I said, going ahead in with a skeptical mind is always a good thing. Um, if you want to talk through prayer or that whole bit about Satan disguising himself as an angel of light, if you think you're having a spiritual experience uh, of any sort, um, put it to the test. First, te uh, find a way of testing to make sure that it, in fact, is a spiritual experience. And then if it is a spiritual experience, test it with scripture or something like that, or, you know, the God God's word, something that it can't say otherwise, just to make sure that it actually is coming from a good source as opposed to a bad one. Again, I'm an agnostic. I don't know, neither do you. But if you think you're having something, put it to the test. Other, uh, you know, and that goes with the Ouija board with it more than anything else. Because chances are it's just more likely that you're just getting your own, that you're just talking to yourself and uh, scaring yourself uh, to no, uh, for no reason. Toodles.